Okay folks, here's going to be a one take video on the stepper motor that controls the ventilation fan, the recirculation vent in the Renault Grand Scenic. So, if you have the problem that when you turn the car on, you hear this da -da 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 noise, it could be that the stepper motor here has stripped some gears. The trick is when you start the car the stepper motor will rotate the vent into the open position this is critical another critical point is when you remove the stepper motor the vent will fall into the recirculation position which is forward. You'll see the vent fall forward. It just flops forward into the recirculation position. That's important because when you put the stepper motor back, you need to have the stepper motor in the recirculation position so that you can screw it on there and get it reattached. So the stepper motor looks like this. So it mounts something like that, and it has this little half-toothed gear with a flat part on it that fits into the corresponding part in the vent. So once again, you've got to play with the stepper motor, plug the, the connector in, turn it to the recirculation position, and set it up so that you can mount it on there when the vent is in the recirculation position. Another trick is the motor actually travels further than the vent. So what I did was I held it roughly in position, operated the switch, and as the stepper motor turned, eventually it got to the point where it could slip into position. Then I held it there and we were good. It was in the recirculation position. I could screw it in, then press this button again. The stepper motor opens the fan, the, opens the vent. The vent stops and the stepper motor can't turn any further, even though it, it would run a little bit further. So the... The range of the stepper motor is more than the range of the vent. You've got to mount it in the recirculation position. There are three screws and then you're good to go. Uh, I'd recommend buying a new one even though they're bloody expensive like 100 euros. I did buy a second hand one. Unfortunately the second hand one also had a slightly stripped gear. So I had to rebuild one good one out of two less good ones. The gear that actually strips, this is the really badly stripped gear, you can see in there it's missing a whole bunch of teeth. And that either means the vent won't open, so you're stuck in recirculation mode and it gets very stuffy, the windscreen will fog up in winter. Or you'll get this... Uh, Horrible duck, 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 duck noise as the gear is uh, skipping teeth. So, that that's the problem. It's relatively easy to get out. Except for the last screw. For that, I have this nice little flexible Torx ratchet thing. Really cheap one. I got it at Aldi for about 10 francs or 10 euro. Now that'll, that you'll need that to get the last screw out at the back. The other two are reasonably accessible. There's an electrical connector on there, pretty straightforward. Pull it out, the vent will fall into the recirculation position. When you put the new one on there, make sure the switch is in the recirculation, recirculation position and the stepper motor is at that end of its travel. Mount it on there, screw it on and then just open the vent, make sure the vent is fully opened and you're all good. So as you can hear now, 
it's running relatively smoothly still a couple of little clicks but yeah there you go